log into AWS Management Console, click on Services, scroll down. You will find AWS Cost Explorer service under Cost Management section. Click on Cost Explorer. From the dashboard, we can see that current month cost which is billed till today in this current month and forecasted month end cost as well which will be the estimated cost for the entire current month. Let me click on Cost Explorer. From AWS Cost Explorer service, it is possible to visualize the cost billed on monthly basis. We can choose last 6 months of billing and even it is possible to choose the custom time range as well so that it will produce the report stating that what was the bill for the specific selected month. It is also possible to apply the filters to see the cost incurred for the specific AWS resource or for the specific AWS service. Let me show you how to apply the filter to see the cost for the specific AWS service. Click on service. Select the service from drop down. Let's say EC2. Then apply filters. Now the graph is showing the cost for the EC2 instances only. And even it is possible to apply the filter based on region specific and instance type specific and even it is possible to apply the tag based filter as well. Based on the filter which we have chosen the corresponding cost incurred for that specific resource will be shown in the graph. AWS cost explorer service will help you to understand the billing for the specific AWS resource and for the specific AWS service. Hence it is easy to understand which AWS resource is caused for how much bill for the specified duration. AWS Cost Explorer service is also offering you to purchase the savings plan. When we click on purchase savings plan, there are two type of savings plans are currently supported by the AWS, compute savings plan and EC2 instance savings plan. When we are purchasing the savings plan, we need to give the commitment that the resources will be used for one year or three years of term. Hence the reason AWS will provide the resources with low prices. Then specify the term, then specify how much hourly commitment can be given and the payment option as well. Once the savings plan is configured, we can click on add to cart and purchase the savings plan. So that AWS will consider the savings plan and will deploy the resources for low prices. That's it for this lecture, understanding AWS Cost Explorer service to get the AWS uses and the cost over the period of time and can save the cost by purchasing the savings plan. I will see you in the next lecture. Thank you.